Good morning guys, welcome to uh, summer day four. Just still getting the living room situated. And we're shaving honey. We are not shaving honey. And we're we also shaving willow. We've been going over and over and over it. Should we shave her, should we not shave her, should we shave her? I don't want to shave her yet because it's like so she's hot. suffering. It's and she's got all that baby fluff, all her winter coat, she's got it all. And she's, she's struggling in this heat. It was 86 degrees yesterday, 86. Gabby, what color do you want? Black. Black. All right, let's show you guys. I want to see the blue first. All right, which one's though? This one's black. So I'm getting blue? Oh, I like the blue. I like the But it doesn't go with my brushes. It goes with my blue brushes, but not my pink. Dad! Why? Well, no. Pink? Nope. Blue, red, or black. Just stick with the black. Sam ordered these. I'm going to tell you where he ordered them from. This is not sponsored, but it's super okay, cool. Here, swap. All right. So the reason that these are cool is because it has four different or six different ways to shed. Isn't that cool? Anyway, we're hoping that new brushes will help us get down deeper into Honey's coat and get like all the under stuff out that's trying to shed, but is stuck inside her thick woolly mammoth. Okay. So show it to them. No, show them this black one, Sophie, and I'll tell you guys what it does. Basically, it's a horse brush, bath massage brush, beauty brush, bath massage, six in one hair removal horse massage tool. So it's a bath, groom, and massage tool. It's got all these different ways to groom. It's got this edge to it right here that you can groom that way, shed that way. It's got these brushes that are like, uh, they're really, I don't know, massage like. These would be for like massage. And then it's got this grippy thing on the bottom i'm gonna have to watch a video but i'll show you guys hopefully you like it yeah i really like it so you can fold it like this and shed you can you use the it. massage thing like that you can shampoo down there and you can use it as like uh what are those things that take the water off squeegee you can also use it as a squeegee so we got three of them. We're going to try them. Who knows? Maybe it'll be better. We have like, I swear, one of every kind of shedding blade and grooming brush that you can have. You guys know Sam always buys every gimmick, every like weird thing that you can find on the internet. He always buys it. He used to like, remember when Wish was a big thing and he would buy stuff from there? Well, he would buy stuff from there all the time and it would be like such bad quality that it was never worth it. Like most of that stuff we always just ended up throwing out. But he found this new website called Temu. It's the same sort of thing as Wish. There's a few different ones. Um, but he likes this Temu one because there's no um, minimum uh, there's no minimum purchase requirement, so you can just buy one of something and he's been buying stuff from there and we've been loving it like so those shedding blades he got oh, a haul Sophie's been wanting this toy for so long. No, I said I'm tall. Oh, you're tall. Yeah, she is tall She's it's almost this. as tall as me now put it down here so we can see So it's this little toy. It's a fidget What do you do with it? Um, you're supposed to go like that and it just flips and then go back but I lost this piece under the couch, so we had to rip apart the whole couch. Okay, so show them how it works. I can't do it, but it's supposed to, like, flip. It's called Pop 2. Flick it. But it's called a Pop 2. He also bought, Sophie, these new shoelace holders. It, it, they're to make it so that your shoes look nicer. You know how they get, like, really untidy when you do them up and especially with high top laces you never have a lot left over so it always looks messy so these are like elastic laces these come undone but you can just leave it done up and you can put on your shoe and then it just looks cute when she had them on it looked super cute he also bought a few things for Gabby's birthday. Like I said, the only reason that we're not gonna shave her down right now is because she's young. If she was older, I wouldn't care so much, but she, well, I don't know. I keep going back and forth because Willow is a, a lot shed out. She doesn't have anywhere near as much hair as Honey, and I know that she could tolerate it going down to 50 degrees or close to 50 degrees. So I don't know, I just, I don't, it's her first year. She's just a yearling, just newly a yearling. And I want her to like learn how to regulate her own coat. It's just the only struggle you guys is that it went from like 50 degrees to almost 90 degrees overnight. And that's like not fun for any horse. Another thing Sam got me a while ago is this first aid kit. I'm just gonna add it to our horse first aid kit. And you guys know, I told you I'm taking a first aid kit. I'm taking a first aid class. It lasts eight hours, a horse first aid 
course. I'm super excited about it. But I'm going to take this down to the barn too. So when I see interesting things like that horse brush, which is regularly $40, I check on that Timu site to see if it's cheaper. And it obviously is cheaper. It's like, what, $11 or something. So this year I want our trailer experience to feel like camping. I want to feel like I'm camping. So Sam's thinking of different sites that we could set up a campsite. We could utilize this area over here, which I love. Like we could put it back there a bit and then have all this as grass and stuff for the kids. Oh, so we have to put a where's level. That makes sense. Okay. So it'll face that way. All right, I'm okay with that. Or we could also put it down there so it's like a fire pit and a trailer and camping that way. What do you think? I don't know, or we could just put a way down there. Or we could put a way back there. Put a whole new fire pit down there. And put a whole new fire pit down there. Come here, Ellie. Come on. In the mud. <laughs> yeah, my dog likes mud. Sit, sit. I'm clipping Willow. I don't know. Let's go see what these new shedding blades will do. So there's only one issue with my dog, you guys. Only one thing. I already took her mane out. The issue is that she is not a sun worshiper like I am. So when I sit outside, she doesn't want to be out there. She, oh, hey, get out of that poop. But she also doesn't want me to be out there. She wants me to be with her. Huffing. Yeah, she's in the shade and she's just huffing away. It's Because she has more hair, but Willow's dark. I know. I do not think these work good. Look at her nice curly mane. Look at that, Mom. Wow, you braided her mane yesterday? Yeah, I remember Aww. I it. Cute. Hi, hi. See, this is what we mean. But it's only going to be hot for a short time. It doesn't work. These don't work. Don't oh. brush it that way. Well, I mean, maybe if it gets underneath. Don't brush it that way. Look, but and I when I go this way, some little hairs float up. So I like to be outside. Ellie likes to be inside. She likes to be outside, but not in the sun. I like to be doing stuff with my pony. And she likes mud puddles. See, you guys, she ran like we literally walked down here. There's a million paths not to go in the mud. She goes in the mud. Mom, we should fill up one of those small pools for her. Yeah, she doesn't like water. She has so many baths. Every week she has a bath, at least one bath well, a week. Because if it's colder water, then she'll like it more. Because if it's hot out, then she can just lay in the water. I don't think that's going to work. But I also don't think these things work. Like, what a ripoff. I hate when you like, I see them online and they make videos with them. Also, my horses aren't shedding. They don't shed with anything. I mean, let's try another one to compare. All right, move. Okay. So if you say, I will make it work. Well, she's shitting a little bit. She's like not super furry. All right, and then I'm gonna try this one. That's also mine. This one works a million times better. Million times no, better. Maybe I'll do this to Watch. honey. See, there's so much hair on it. Yeah, not as much as I got. It's not superior, but I could see, see they- All right, you're getting it good. Honey isn't shedding, so. Well, maybe it's the underneath stuff we need to get out. You guys remember when Gabby went through learning to to shave Chino for the first time? I she, you shaved all the horses at the at the barn too, didn't you? No. You've shaved horses at the barn for Fiona before. Only one, and that was a team. Effort, yeah, because he was really fluffy. Ellie, you do not want more hair. Trust me. Anyway, it is Sophie's turn, and I'm glad for her to have the same opportunities as Gabby. In the past, everybody was like, Gabby, you should do it, Gabby, 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 but it's time. This side is harder, because it's like this and stuff like that. You gotta go like Did you bring the cooling spray down? Are you liking it, Sophie? Anyway, she needs to learn to take care of her ponies and do the best thing for them, make her own decisions, and I want to foster that in her. I have my own way, my own choices. Ellie, get out of that stall. She's eating poop. But I want... She's looking good. And then I can start giving her baths. Yeah. So... She's so dusty under this. She is heaving from the heat. 
See, that's why we shave her. Yeah. Anyway. Like, all she did was walk in and she was, like, even. Are you going to do all up here underneath her? Yeah, but I'm... Should I do her face? No. I no. knew when I woke up this morning, some pony was getting shaved today. Sophie has been dying to shave one. We really want to see. You, you know. can tell whenever she would like um, press harder or lighter. Uh, it's, okay. it's a process. It's, it's a process. Look at Ellie. I had to learn to shave her. Yeah, but this one's bigger. Anyway, hopefully Willow will appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I love it. She's got a radio on. I was just cleaning out the girls' field. So I want Sophie to take her time and enjoy the process. I'm gonna run up to the house and grab a snack, and then I'll be back. Yeah, she's ditching. No, I'll be right back. I know. Just remember to take breaks every few minutes and. Um, right. Yeah, I know. I just okay. sprayed it. All right. Trailer's going in. I'm excited. It's going over here. We decided. You know I'm doing that, right? Yeah. I brought us some snacks. I brought water for you, water for me. I'm helping Will. She's still panting. I brought some hummus, some carrots, some grapes. What do you do with the legs? You learn up. by trying. You learn by doing. This is the new addition to our farm. There's Will. A bird nest in the back. Some bird is making a nest. There was a bird nest in the back of it, he said. Sam said he put this little happy face at the bottom for the little kids to shoot at. Molly, Molly come over here. Ruby, Ruby. I can't remember anybody's okay. name. Ruby. Hopefully Molly. this hits because I don't want to have to go around. Molly. Go, Molly. Molly, Ruby. I marked it. Okay, let's go. Go. Molly, Ruby, Molly. Go. Find my pencil. My pencil. It's gone. You do better under pressure. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, good job. You should put like numbers on there in white paint. Like what? So like you should say so that the kids can play. I don't think this target's gonna last forever, but it's good for now. It barely went on the black. Molly, go. Molly. Go. Throw back. Oh my god. No. I... Oh, it hit the bullseye. Maybe move back further. Nope. 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 Oh, Laura's turn. Oh. oh my gosh, she missed the whole target. That's a huge target too. Worse than me. Oh, look where I got. Big dent. Yeah, whatever. I hit the bullseye. You just have to get a feel for it. I think, given time, I'd be good at it. I do not know why I let her do this because when Gabby did this, it took. I'm a horse. She did this. It took us so long, but she's doing a great job. But we're gonna finish up. So we're gonna finish up and try and um, make her beautiful and stunning. We have like a lot left to do, obviously her legs and starving. So as soon as she's done here, we're gonna go up and eat. I remember when Gabby did this, Gabby gets like angry when she gets stressed. So literally when we went to the barn, we were at another barn and we had to go and we had to just sit there and be quiet. I, I didn't tried. Go that time. Yeah, I like read my book. You couldn't talk. You couldn't say anything because when she's under stress, it's not a pretty sight. <laughs> anyway, this is happening. It's getting there. We're getting there. I'm not going to lie. I'm happy for her not to be hot. It was literally so hot today and it's still so hot that even Ellie was struggling. You guys know that she is a force to be reckoned with and she never gives in, but she actually went and laid inside the back door while I was out with the chickens because it was so hot for her. So Sam and Gabby hooked up the swing. Oh, oh I don't God. want you to hit the tree. Oh God, I already have enough brain damage. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, it's perfect for the grandkids when they come. Oh, Jack loves this thing. Yeah, the little kids. And I brought a chair over. Can we sit over here while you eat? Yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm starving. I'm going to change. We I'm were in the barn all day, you guys. A day spent in the barn is a day well spent. Don't you know that you're beautiful?